we will start with color coding now color coding color coding why do we use it okay in 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 electronic circuits in electrical circuits there are two types of resistors which are being used first is wire bound resistors and second is carbon resistors wire bound resistors we use up to few hundred ohms and carbon resistor for high resistances so to find out to find out to know the resistance of carbon resistors we use color code Just a minute. We use color code. Now there are certain, there are four bands A, B, C, D. This is a carbon resistors. There are rules. So A B indicates the first 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 two significant figures of the resistance in ohm. B and C indicate the decimal multiplier. And B and D indicate the tolerance level in percentage. By an example, this is the way to represent the carbon resistor. A B, A B. Pro, I mean, this is multiplication. C plus minus is tolerance level. D percent. This is tolerance level. Now, how will you? By given example. Now, how will you represent the resistance of thirty-seven hundred? First of all, you should remember this table also. I repeat, in electrical circuit, there are two types of there. There are major two types of resistors. First is wire bound resistor. Second is carbon resistor. Wire bound resistors resistance up to few hundred meters. Carbon resistor for higher resistance purposes. To know the resistance of a carbon resistor, we use color coding. This is a carbon resistor. There are there are four bands A, B, C, D. D is a tolerance level. And this table you have to remember. So to remember it, you should know. B B Roy, B B Roy of a Great Britain had very good wife. B represents zero. Then second B represents one. R two O orange three. Y means yellow four. Great means green. That is five. Very violet. Good again. Eight, and that is gray. And white means white. That is nine. So how to use it? Now, now how will you represent the resistance of thirty seven hundred plus minus ten percent by color code? Look how to write. We can write R equals to ten is to power two plus minus ten percent. It means three represents which color? Orange. Okay, have a look. look. Three represents orange. Then. Thirty-seven, seven, violet color means first band. First band represents orange color. Second band represents violet color. And C, C represents ten to power two. Ten to power two means red color. And plus minus ten. It means that you will see the tolerance level is plus ten percent. That is silver. Okay, Alan, Mahmuna, Farhat, and others. Or shall I repeat? Did you get it, or shall I repeat? Yes, sir. No. Very easy. Two minutes to do this question. The color code of the resistance is given below: yellow, violet, brown, and gold. If you remember that, then it means it's very easy to write the value of resistance along with the tolerance. Pass. Write and write your answer in chat box. Right, everyone. Shall I show you the table? Just note down the yellow, violet, brown, and gold in your notebook. I'll show you the table there.
write your answer in chat box. This question is very simple. The values of resistance and the tolerance respectively. See. What about others? Mamuna, Saifullah, Parhat, Hiba. Write your answer. Uh, sir, can you show the table, please? Just a minute. This is the table. Write your answer, everyone. Mamuna B. B. Sapulla. Write your answer, Heba. This is a question. Yellow. So resistance will be. What is yellow? Yellow represents which color? C. Yeah, Farhad. Correct. Now yellow. The colors are yellow, violet, brown, and gold. Yellow, violet, brown, and gold. So yellow is four. Then violet, I think. Then yellow, violet, then brown. Brown trend is to power one. So the resistance will be yellow four, then violet, then into 10 is to power one. This is resistance 470. And what is tolerance level? Tolerance level that is D. D equals to gold. Gold represents gold represents five percent. Tolerance level is five percent. Now, what is the answer? So resistance will be four seven zero, and D will be five percent. C is the answer. Okay, Saifullah, you made a mistake. Therefore, you made mistake and Mamuna too. Did you get it? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next up. A combination of cell. Combinations of cell. Now, there are two types of combinations, series and parallel. So in series, that it be n number of cells and these cells are identical. So cells are n cells are identical. These are identical cells having resistance, having EMF E and internal resistance R. So let it be n number of cells. They are connected in series having EMF E and internal resistance R. R is the external resistance. This is external resistance. External resistance. Now, if we have to calculate the equivalent, equivalent EMF of the combination, so you have to remember. So E equivalent equals to N times E. Equivalent resistance n times r, and as we know that if we have to calculate the equivalent resistance in series, so look how will you do r1 plus r2 plus dot dot rn. So if you sum up in this way, mm -hmm. the resistances are identical. So r plus r plus r up to n times. So the resultant, so the result will come out n equals to resistance equals to n times r.
Fine. So resistances are identical, and if we have to calculate the equivalent resistance in series, you have to sum up. So the resultant, so the re, the equivalent resistance will come up n times r. The current in the circuit is V over R. So what is the equivalent EMF n times E over external resistance? The total resistance of the circuit that is R is the external resistance plus total internal resistance. Now potential difference across the external resistance that is V equals to V equals to I R. and it this is equals to n times e over r plus n r times r fine now potential difference across each cell v dash equals to v over n now look these are the two cells connected in the similar way positive negative positive negative if we have to calculate the equivalent resistance then the equivalent resistance will come out E1 plus E2 and our equivalent equals to R1 plus R2. But if they are connected in opposite sense, means positive in, in the similar sense, means positive is connected to the positive and negative is connected to the negative. Then if we have to calculate the equivalent resistance, then E1 minus E2 in which E1 is greater than E2 and R equivalent, you have to add them R1 plus R2. So if they, if positive is connected to the negative, like positive, negative, this is, this is positive, this is negative. If negative is connected to the positive, following the same sense but then if we have to calculate the equivalent resistance then you have to sum up even plus e2 but if the same polarities are connected like positive is connected to the positive and negative is connected to the negative if we have to calculate the equivalent resistance then you have to do it e and e even minus e2 provide which battery is bigger even minus e2 and r equivalent equals to r1 plus r2 Now parallel grouping, let it be n number of cells again, identical cells. If we have to calculate the equivalent resistance and identical, then the, the putting equivalent EMF equals to E, equivalent internal resistance R equivalent equals to R over N. We have to apply the equivalent resistance formula in to calculate the internal resistance, equivalent resistance of the cell of the combination. Now current, current equals to E over R plus R is external resistance and this is the equivalent internal resistance. This is the current. Current from E cell I dash equals to I over R because the potential difference will be same in parallel combination. And since we studied combination in series, the so potential difference will be different, but current will be same. That is I. Now, potential difference across external resistance equals the potential difference across each cell that is V equals to IR. Now, mixed grouping, let it be N number of cells, M rows, N number of rows, sorry, N number of, N, M number of rows. This is first row, this is second row, so on, M rows, and N number of cells are connected. Now, if we have to calculate the equivalent EMF of the combination, that is E equivalent equals to any. Equivalent internal resistance of the combination R equivalent equals to N R over M. You have to remember the formula I equals to N E over R plus N R over M. M number of rows and N number of cells. Just remember this thing. The potential difference across each load V equals to I R. Current from each cell equals to I dash equals to I over R. Potential difference across each cell equals to V dash equals to V over N. Wait a minute. Sorry. Total number of cells equals to M into N. For maximum current, just remember for maximum current, MR equals to NR. MR equals to N for maximum current in the circuit. Again, you have to remember the formulas. Now, try this question. Two cells having the same EMF. Try this question. Hmm. 
just note down the formulas first. Now, in series, the equivalent EMF of the combination is any equivalent EMF of the equivalent. Uh, sorry. Equivalent internal resistance equals to NR current is this potential difference across each external resistance V equals to IR potential difference across each cell equals to V dash equals to V over N. Just remember, just write down the formula in your notebook, then we will proceed. And once you're done, Please let me know. Namuna done. Alan. Anifa, Heba, Farhat. Note down the formula fast. Equivalent resistance and equivalent EMF. Okay. Either you should note down your notebook or you can take the screenshot of it. In parallel also. Fast. Take a screenshot of it. Done. And in mixed grouping also. Equivalent EMF of the combination, equivalent internal resistance of the combination, I in mixed grouping, potential difference across each across the load that is external resistance V equals to IR current from E cell I dash equals to I over N the total current divided by N number of cells potential difference across E cell V dash quoted means potential difference across load divided by N number of cells total number of cells is M times N for a maximum current MR equals to NR. Now try this question route down and N and write in Try this question fast. Write your answer in chat box fast. Three minutes hardly. Try this question and write your answer in chat box fast. Question is saying two cells having same EMF are connected in series through an external resistance capital R cells have internal resistance R1 and R2. R1 is greater than R2 respectively. When the circuit is closed, the potential difference across the first cell is zero. So the value of R is fast. The situation is there are two cells. Two A. Allen 2A, what is 2A? A. Yes, sir. So there are two cells, both are connected in parallel. 
So there are two cells having same EMF. They are connected in series through the same external resistance. Two cells having same EMF, let it be E comma R, E comma R connected to the same external resistance. I is the current. The question is saying now we have to calculate. So cells have the internal resistance R1 and R2. The potential difference across the first cell is zero. Now what is total current in the circuit? So E equals to the total EMF will be 2E. As I told you, the total equivalent EMF in case of series is N times E. So how many cells? Two. So total is 2E over total resistance. If we have to calculate the resistance. So R plus 2R. Sorry, R1 plus R2. Sorry. EMFs are same, but the internal ratios are. This is R1, this is R2. R1 plus R2. Internal ratios. So through the cells, cells have internal ratios R1 and R2 respectively when the circuit is closed. Now, what is the, how to calculate the potential difference across cell 1 that is E minus I R1 fine that is equals to 0 so I equals to V I equals to E over R1 okay this is second this is first equation A Farhad correct Alan is also correct so first of all we the, the, the question is saying that two cells having same EMF but the internal resistance are different and we have to calculate the value of external resistance provided the putting when the circuit is closed potential difference across cell one is zero so the total current is 2e over r plus r1 plus r2 second situation i applied the potential difference closed circuit is zero that is e minus i r i r1 equals to zero now equate them from first and second E over R1 equals to 2E over R plus R1 plus R. E, e will cancel out. If you solve it, so R plus R1 plus R2, 2 times R1. So R equals to R1 minus R2. A is the answer. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? First is the answer. Yes. Sir. Okay. Now, second question. Try this question. For the current shown in the figure, Saifullah is also correct. Now, try. Mamuna, write your answer in chat box fast. Hiva, Anifa. Mamuna, write your answer in chat box fast. Answer is C. For this question, C. Try. First of all, the question is very simple. This question. This question is very simple. First of all, we have to calculate the net equivalent EMF divided by the total resistance. You will get the current. The question is very, very simple. Two minutes hardly. Try this question. This formula, we have to use it. Total EMF over what total resistance past write your answer in chat box past the question is very easy Mamuna, write your answer. Farhat, write your answer. Question is very easy. B, B, B. 
correct look the total emf will be 6 the total resistance will be 4 1 1 6 that is equals to 1 mp Saifulla, how C? 1 ampere is the correct answer. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Shall I move further? Next is Kirchhoff's law. Just a minute. Now, junk Kirchhoff's law. There, there are two, there are two rules. First is junction law. It states that the sum of the current meeting at a point, at a junction in electric circuit is always zero. That is summation I equals to zero. So it states that let it be this. Is this is a junction? Total incoming current equals to total outgoing current. So the total current meeting at the junction is I1 plus I2 must be equals to I4 plus I3. Fine. This is the means the total current at the junction, the algebraic sum of the current meeting at the point that is junction, junction is zero. Okay. Second, this, this law is based on conservation of charge. Just remember, this law is based on conservation of charge. Second loop law, it states that the total potential means the algebraic sum of the charges in potential around any closed loop involving the resistors and cells is always zero. That is to summation, the change in potential in a closed loop is zero. This law is based on conservation of charge. Loop law based on conservation of charge. Sorry, loop law based on conservation of energy, whereas loop conjunction law is based on conservation of charge. This law is completely based on conservation of energy, loop law, and conservation of charge, which law junction law. Now sign convention. If we move in the direction of current, then we have to take it negative. It completely depends on you. And if we move in the opposite sense, then it, we have to take it positive. If we move from positive to negative terminal, we have to take it potential of the battery is negative. And if we move from negative to positive, we have to assume the potential to be positive. Fine. Try this question. Three minutes. Do it, I just come in a minute.
बटन डी राइट योर आंसर रेस्ट ऑफ यू राइट योर आंसर इन चैट बॉक्स पास एवरी वन प्लीज राइट योर आंसर इन चैट बॉक्स देंट इज वी हैव टू यूज के वी एल क्यूच ऑफ वोल्टेज लॉ और लूप लॉ फर्स्ट 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 लॉ इज ऑल्सो नोन एज क्यूच ऑफ करेंट लॉ डी 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 रेस्ट ऑफ यू राइट योर आंसर फास्ट हाउ टू यूज इट डी हाउ टू डू इट सॉरी so va the current direction so va equals to now as i told you if i move in the direction of the current then we have to assume to be negative so 2 into 2 the potential drop across the resistor then we we are moving from positive to negative terminal that is minus 3 again if we move from in the same direction sorry in the same direction we have to take it minus 1 into 2 that is equals to 2 vv so va minus vv equals to 9 volt so d is the answer okay is it okay with everyone yes now move further one minute think on this question try and write your answer in chat box fast rest of you write your answer fast see kirchhoff junction law follows from the conservation of charge and kirchhoff loop law follows from the conservation of energy fast b both both statements are correct all right kirchhoff junction law follows the conservation of charge kirchhoff law loop law follows from the conservation of energy d is the correct statement okay before this question take a screenshot of this question and try at home fast now electrical energy electrical energy that is equals to work done the formula you have to remember electrical energy work done equals to v times q what is v is the potential where v is potential and q is charge flows for time t in the circuit all right so v so q equals to it
आई टी वी इक्वल टू आई आर सो आई स्क्वायर आर टी दीज आर द फॉर्मुला टू कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी वी स्क्वायर ओवर आर दिस इज ऑल्सो द फॉर्मुला दिस फॉर्मुला दिस फॉर्मुला कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी दिस वन ऑल्सो फाइन सो एनर्जी इक्वल्स टू पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल क्यू टाइम्स पोटेंशियल एंड पोटेंशियल क्यू इक्वल्स टू आई इनटू टी वी इक्वल्स टू आई आर आई स्क्वायर आर टी एनर्जी इक्वल्स टू वी स्क्वायर जस्ट यू हैव टू यूज़ द मैनिपुलेशन दैट्स इट दिस आर द फॉर्मूला नो ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज जूल इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर इज रेट रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क सो पावर इज वर्क डन ओवर टाइम बाई द वे सो पी इक्वल्स टू वी आई एंड इफ वी यूज द मैनिपुलेशन इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी दैट इज आई आर सो यूल गेट आई स्क्वायर आर एंड इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई दैट इज वी ओवर आर यूल गेट वी स्क्वायर ओवर आर दीज आर द फॉर्मुलाज टू कैलकुलेट द पावर एस आई यूनिट इज वॉट वन हॉर्स पावर इक्वल टू सेवन फोर्टी सिक्स वॉट वन किलो वॉट इक्वल टू थाउजेंड वॉट वन मेगा वॉट इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्स हीटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ द करेंट लेट इट बी अ सर्किट हैविंग रजिस्टर आर so an electric current flows through this resistor increases its energy so this is called heating effect of current so let it be a circuit having resistor r having battery uh having e having battery having emf e let it be i is the current flowing in the circuit for time t so the heat generated within this resistor is known as heating effect of current that's that is an electric current through a resistor increases thermal energy this is called heating effect of current the same formula work done equal heat heat by the way equals to energy that is work done q times v i told you all the formulas now if we have to calculate in calories so v it over 4.2 you have to divide this this is the heat In joules, this is the heat in calories. You have to divide by four point two. Just um, four point two. Where R is the resistance, P V is the potential difference across the circuit. So in last equation, shouldn't be V square T by R into four point two. Sorry, v square. V square t by r. R is missing in denominator. Okay, sorry. You have to remember the formula. Now try this question. Write your answer in chat box. Pass. Everyone. Okay. Anyway. How much did you get in the last test, Alan? So I didn't get my results. We leave it. Try this question.
Then write your answer in chat box fast, everyone. Write your answer in chat box fast, everyone. C, 26. Anifa, C, Mamuna, B. Okay, not now. Parhat, C. How to do? Look, the filament bulb 500 watt, 100, 100 volt is to be used in 230 main supply. When a resistance R is connected in series, it works perfectly and the bulb consumes 500 watt. The value of R we have to calculate. When the resistance R is connected in series, works perfectly, the bulb consumes 500 watt. Now, first of all, we have to calculate power is given. Rated power is given and voltage is also given over what is V square over R. Okay. So 500. Sorry. So R equals to what is V? 100 into 100 and that is 500. R is 20. So the resistance of the filament bulb is 20 ohm. Now further. What we want it consumes. Now current will be. What is current? Voltage is how much? Power at right. T equals to VI. So just a minute. So I equals to what is P five hundred? V is hundred five ampere in the circuit. Now, now the next time the R is connected in series, so the total current will be the total voltage is through 230 volt and the total internal resistance will be two thirty over the total resistance is total resistance is. R is the external resistance plus 20 equals to 5. Now solve. So 5R plus 100 equals to 230. So 5R equals to 130. So R equals to 26 ohm. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. So the answer is 26. Now, electricity consumption that is kilowatt hour. So, amount of energy dissipated in one hour, a circuit when electric power is one kilowatt. So, one kilowatt. 1 kilowatt hour equals to 3.6 into 10 power 6 joule. It means the amount dissipated in 1 hour when the electric power is 1 kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt. That is electrical consumption. Now, power consumption in combination. In series, let it be n number of bulbs. If they are connected in series, having power P1, P2, and Pn. So, the formula is P equivalent equals to P1 plus P2 dot dot Pn. Remember this thing, power consumed is deck in series, power consumed, that is the brightness of the bulb, is directly proportional to the potential difference, directly proportional to the resistance, inversely proportional to the power rated. That is, in series, what happens, the, the bulb, the combination, in series combination, the bulb of lesser voltage will give more bright light and the potential difference appearing across it will be more. 
the parallel combination the the in parallel combination the total equivalent power will be p1 plus p2 dot dot pn and if n number of power consumption remember this power consumption that is brightness is equal to the power rated in series it was inversely proportional but in parallel it is directly proportional directly proportional to the current like inversely proportional to the one by r so in parallel combination bulb of greater voltage will give more bright in series bulb of lesser voltage will give you more bright now try this question first 220 very easy question the two 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 twenty hundred watt bulbs are connected first in series then in parallel each time the combination is connected with 220 volt the power drawn by the combination is case so the power calculate the equivalent combination calculate the equivalent power in both the cases apply the formula very easy Write your answer in chat box fast. Very easy question. Write your answer in chat box, everyone. Write your answer in chat box. Everyone, please write your answer. Write your answer in chat box. Everyone, please. Be careful. Now. And what about others? Alan, Parhat, Mahmuna, Hanifa, Heva. Write your answer first. B. B. Now, how to do? So, in, in, in series, the formula was P equivalent equals to 1 over P1 plus 1 over P2. That is 100 plus 100 so p equivalent will be 50 this is in series fine in parallel we have to sum up directly that is p1 plus p2 that is 100 plus 100 200 b is the answer correct let's move further Now application, filament of electric bulb made up of tungsten, which has high resistivity, you have to remember, and high melting point. Electric devices having heating elements like heater, geyser, or press are made up of nichrome, which has high resistivity and high melting point. You have to remember the points. So in filament, high resistivity and high melting point. The last is fuse wire is made up of thin lead alloy. Have low melting point and high resistivity okay so low melting point and high resistivity try this question Write your answer fast. 30 seconds. D. High resistance and low melting. Correct. I just told you. In case of fuse, wire, high resistance and low melting point. Good. The last is heating coil is this. Try this question fast. Two minutes.
how to do it a heating coil is is labeled 100 watt 220 volt the coil is cut into two equal halves so first of all we have to calculate the resistance so resistance equals to v square over p what is resistance What is V two twenty into two twenty over hundred? Twenty two into twenty two is how much? Anyone? Saifullah. Four eight four. Four eight four. Four. Fine. Now the cut the coil is cut into two equal half. So let it be R one equals to two four two, and R two equals to two four two. Then the energy now liberated. We have to calculate the energy. So first of all, we have to calculate the resistances in parallel. So 242 plus 242, that is equals to, it will come out, R equivalent equals to 242 into 242 over 2 times 242. 1, 2, 1, I think. Is it correct? 1, 2, 1? Yes, sir. Okay, now, what do we have to calculate? Uh, energy energy is okay now energy energy per second fine so energy per second that is equals to power that is v square over r now again 220 into 220 over 121 now divided how much please Solve. If you solve it, how much we will get? D is correct answer. Everyone got the same thing, 121, the equivalent resistance. Yes, sir. Okay, now V square. So, energy per second is basically power. The potential is 220 into 220 over 121. If you solve it, how much you will get? 400. Now, just a minute. One twenty. Wait a minute. Two twenty, two twenty, four hundred. What? That's it. Fourth is the answer. Now next is measuring instrument. Mm -hmm. Very important topic. Now weed stone bridge. What is V distance bridge? Let it be four resistances are connected. G is the galvanometer. This is galvanometer. In balanced situation means if there is no current, there is no deflection in the galvanometer, then this condition holds. P over Q equals to R over S in balanced condition. This is V stone bridge. V stone bridge basically it is a method to find out the unknown resistance. So, in balance condition, that is, there is no current in the galvanometer. If the current is zero in the galvanometer, then P over Q equals to R over S. Try this question fast. Two to three minutes. Try this question, write your answer in chat box fast.
Farah. And rest of you, write your answer fast. Write your answer in chat box fast. Now, in V distant bridge, all four arms have equal resistance. If the resistance of the galvanometer arm is also R, the equivalent resistance of the combination is. Now, in V distant bridge, first of all, we have to check the condition. The bridge is balanced or not. So, R, 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 and R. So R over R equals to R over R. Okay, the ratio is, that is a balanced condition. We can ignore this one. So, this is R, this is R, this is R, this is R. If you calculate it, it would be 2R, P2R, then this is R. Okay, is it clear to everyone? Answer is R. Next. Meter bridge. Meter bridge, it is a device, it is also used, it is also known as slide wire bridge, carry posture bridge. So this is, it is a device, used to make used to find out the unknown resistance this is 100 one meter wire r and s are the resistances r is a resistance box a c is the wire l is a b is the null point where the, this is the null point in means there is no current flows through the galvanometer means a null deflection point. The principle is V distant bridge in balanced condition P by Q over R S. So L over 100 minus L equals to R over S. If we have to calculate the unknown resistance that is S. So S equals to 100 minus L over L times R. It is similar means the principle is V distant bridge. Now application to find out, find out the unknown resistance and comparing two unknown resistances. Try this question. Fast. Try fast.
sorry uh, who dan b now how to do it the resistances in the two arms meter bridge are 5 ohm r ohm respectively fine the first situation is Five over R equals to L one over hundred minus L one. First equation. Then when the resistance is is centered with when the resistance R is centered with an equal resistance. Now we have to calculate the equivalent resistance. So it would be both are in parallel. R R so R over two. The new balance point is again five. R over two. The new balance point is one point six. I think one point six. Am I correct? Yes, sir. One point six over hundred minus L one. These are the two equations. Fine, and you have to solve them. You will get the value of R. That's it. There are two equations, two variables. Solve them, you'll get the answer. Just a minute. Let me solve. Now divide them. If you divide them, or how much to? One point six L one over hundred minus L one into hundred minus L one over L one. L one L one will cancel out. What is the value of L one? If you solve it. Did anyone solve? What is the value of L one? If you solve it, how much will you get? What is the value of L one? By the way, two equals to one sixty. Minus one point six L one. Over hundred minus one point six L one. This forty is one point six L one. So L one equals to forty four. Twenty five. Twelve is twenty five, and if you substitute twenty five in this, now substitute in this. So five over R equals to twenty five over seventy five. Two over three, so R will come out. Everyone got the same thing, twenty five. 
हेलो एम आई ऑडेबल यस बट हाउ फोर्टी ओवर वन पॉइंट सिक्स इज इट फाइन टेलियर इज इट इज इट करेक्ट टेलियर वन पॉइंट सिक्स जस्ट अ मिनट फोर्टी इक्वल्स टू एल वन तो एल वन इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी जीरो पॉइंट ए एंड वॉट्स वॉट्स योर आंसर बाय द वे बी पर बी एल एन आई एम गेटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव If I substitute twenty five over seventy five, five over R, two over three, three five seven fifty. Then the then the ratios. Okay, I check it. Fine, I'll check it. Try this question at home first. This one. Take a screenshot of it. The 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 with the balancing length from the left is is found to be 20 cm when the standard resistance of of ohm is in the right gap. The value of Then, okay, so potentiometer. We will discuss the question that I left it eventually. Now, potentiometer, potentio, potentiometer. It is a device used to measure the EMF or internal resistance of an unknown resistance. Fine. potential meter is also known as ideal voltmeter because it does not draw any current from the from the battery principle is means let it be a wire having uniform cross section and constant current flowing through it so potential drop is directly proportional to the length and whenever there is proportionality const there is a proportionality sign you have to use a constant that is k k is known k is known as the potential gradient so v equals to kl So V equals to I by Ohm's law, and resistance is rho L over A. So the principle states that the current is constant. So rho I over A is constant. So K value is rho I over A, where K is also known as the potential gradient. Potential per unit length. It is defined as potential per unit length. The SI unit is volt per meter, or CGS unit is volt per centimeter. application comparison of comparison comparing emfs of two cells so there are two cells e1 and e2 e1 over e2 l1 over l2 these are balancing lengths e1 is great just remember the poti potentiometer is to to be work then the auxiliary battery it means this battery must be greater than e1 and e2 measuring internal resistance of the cell So R is the internal resistance. E is the EMF. V is the potential drop. Uh, minus one over S. S is the resistance of the resistance box. L one and L two are the lengths. Minus one. This formula we have to remember. You have to remember. Sensitivity of a potential meter means the smallest potential difference that can be measured. Very small potential difference. Now try this question first. Um, sir, can you show the formulas, please? Just a moment. This one, L one, L two are the balancing lengths.
then sir the second formula is this one e1 over e2 equals to l1 over x now try this question fast past everyone before that uh, just a minute the l is correct 25 centimeters now if you substitute in this so 100 sorry i made a mistake in calculation This is equals to 25, 3. So R will come out 15. 15 is the answer. Answer is 15. Okay, fast. Done. So write your answer in chat box. Fast. A potential meter wire is 100 centimeter along a constant potential difference is maintained across the two cells connected in series to support one another. It means E1 plus E2. Because according to the principle, V, v equals to K times L. K into what is length? 50 centimeter. That is 50 K. Second, and in opposite direction, E1 minus E2 equals to 10K. This is first equation. This is second equation. Now divide. E1 plus E2 over E1 minus E2 equals to 5. Now, we have to calculate the ratio. So, E1 plus E2 equals to 5E1 minus 5E2. That is equals to. Solve it. Six E two equals to four E one. So E one over E two equals to six over four. That is equals to three over two. Now see is the answer. Okay. Okay, Parat correct. Alan, did you get it? Mahamuna, everyone. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. One of the question I left one of the question let's do it this question also in a meter bridge the question is very simple in meter bridge how to do the balancing length from the left is found to be 20 centimeter 
and the standard resistance done will you be able to do this question at home because the question is very simple please reply everyone yes sir okay this potentiometer question last try fast one minute A potentiometer wire of length L and the resistance R are connected in series with the battery of EMF E0 and the resistance R1. An unknown resistance EMF is balanced at the length L of potentiometer wire. The EMF E will be given by. Fast. A potentiometer wire of length L and a resistance R are connected in series with the battery of EMF E0 and the resistance R1. So first of all, we have to calculate the total current. Points. Potentiometer wire of length L and resistance R are connected in series with this. So what is what is the with the battery of EMF? Resistance connected in series with the battery. So total current will be E0 plus R plus R1. This is the total current. Now the question is saying the EMF will be given by EMF of the cell, the balance. So E equals to K times the balancing length will be L is the length of the wire. Write your answer, all of you. No, sorry. We need potential gradient. So what is potential gradient? P equals to K times L. How to calculate K? K equals to V over L and V equals to IR. Fine. So R unit and resistance R1. So this is the battery of resistance R1 and unknown EMF with a balanced potentiometer. So the potentiometer of length and the resistance R. So potentiometer wire, the resistance of the wire is R. So potential drop across the wire equals to IR. That is E0 R over R1 plus R0. Times 1 over L. Is K. So EMF will be what is EMF? E equals to K times L. The length is this. What is K? E not R to L over R1 plus R not. I think R not. R not or R? What is given in the question? R or sorry. There is no R. P is the answer. B. Fine. Look how to do it. First of all, we have to calculate the potential drop. So for that, what we need current. Current is the total current in the circuit is E0 is the battery 
and total current of the circuit is r is the resistance of the wire and r not is the external resistance sorry r1 is the external resistance now first of all the the question is saying the emf of the will be given by an em and an length l of the potentiometer wire the sorry an unknown emf is balanced at a length l so what we need to calculate the emf emf equals to v v equals to k times first of all we need the total potential drop so the total potential drop equals to what we need to calculate potential gradient k equals to v over l now so k v what is the total potential drop let it be a wire having length l and resistance r but if we calculate the potential drop so v equals to i r what is V? What is I? E naught R plus R. R is the resistance of the total wire and current is E naught over R plus R plus R1. And L is the length of the total wire. From here, we can calculate the value of potential gradient. Now, now the second EMF is connected across the circuit. Then the potential drop. Then the balancing length is L. This is the balancing length. A K is calculated E naught R over R1 plus R. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, I repeat. First of all, we need to calculate the current that is E naught over R plus R. R is the resistance of the wire and R1 is the resistance of the of the circuit. Now, this is the formula as I told you, V equals to K times L. K is a potential gradient. Now, to calculate the another EMF is connected across in the circuit and it and it is mentioned that the balancing length is L. So, if we have to calculate the value of the EMF, what we need, length is given, K we need it. Now, how do we calculate it? We will apply the principle of the potentiometer, V equals to K times L. Now, we will calculate the total potential drop across the wire. That is R is the resistance of the wire. And if you multiply by the total current, you will get the total potential drop across the wire. Fine. So the total potential drop R is the resistance. Current is E naught over R1. I multiplied it. I got the value of K. Now substitute in this formula because the balancing length is mentioned, you'll get the value of EMF. That's it. Okay. So whenever you get this kind of stuff, first of all, we need to calculate the current. Then the total potential drop across the wire from where we will calculate the value of k then means if the length length either the emf look in this question it it could be asked okay, what is the balancing length the emf is e then we will use the same methodology e is given and k we calculated l we can easily calculate it fine fine with everyone is it okay? Yes. I okay. Is it? Do you have any doubt? Anyone? Does anyone have doubt? Does anyone have doubt? No, sir. No, sir. Then why?